I remember actually we were at church and I gave this word and as soon as church was over she ran right up to me and she was like oh my gosh like that's literally exactly what the Lord's been talking to me about and she's like I don't know what's going on but I really feel like the Lord is telling me that I'm supposed to passionately help you what she didn't know is that I've been asking the Lord Lord where is my help meet like Adam's help meet like where is she where is she and she's like I'm supposed to be your helper like I'm supposed to help you passionately with anything that you're supposed to be doing and I'm like she the one Lord <laughs> I met at church and there was a long period of time that I was just observing him without realizing I was observing him because it's hard not to observe someone that just is full of the spirit and full of light everywhere he goes all the time and when we started talking he was willing to make the first couple of times walks in my neighborhood which is where I can be free and after that because of injuries in his family and caregiving the next like 20 something days of meeting talking every single day because there was too many things to say it was all online so the initial part of our learning was the spirit and the mind of each other so when we actually saw each other again and realized like oh i do actually love you i knew everything about how he thought and how his spirit thinks and everything else because that's just how the lord planned it So there's something that she does anytime she hears like a phrase or a word that sounds funny she'll repeat it but she'll repeat it in like a, a slightly friendly mocking tone <laughs> okay there was actually i remember uh, this one moment where i was singing a song and you know when you're singing a song you're trying to get all the syllables in and so i was uh, like cinnamon <laughs> like really fast and she's like cinnamon it was just hilarious the way she did it it just made me laugh <laughs> he is the funniest goofball in the like he has enough funny which is like almost all the funny in the world to counterbalance all the spiritual he has which is also the most I've ever seen and that's the only way I can explain it there's like there has to be a balance and he's perfectly balanced but there's like he could teach the entire world the Bible and they would know it better than they know it ever before so the amount of funny is equal opposite to that Placing of this ring on your finger is the fulfillment of my dreams to have you as my best friend my love and my husband with this ring I place my life to you and my continuous love in, in the, the name, name of the, of the Father, Father, the Son, and the, Son, and the Holy Spirit
now that I finally know what all, mm, so many promises and things that the Lord showed me for a long time, what they mean, and that all of them are one direction, like actually moving forward and seeing kingdom on earth through my own hands and the people around me and not like falling apart all the time because I keep going different directions. And with him, like we have one direction now, but everything that, everything that was all directions flooded into one river. So nothing's missing. The whole statement is, you know, to know him and make him known. And one thing she's really good at is taking vision and turning it into reality. One thing I'm good at is getting the vision from God. I know where the end game is, like he tells me the, the actual destination, but he gives her everything to make it happen along the way. So it's like this perfect combination of us both. The romance that's in there is, is perfect. We're both goofy, we're both funny, we, we both have like childlike behavior and faith and we're just a bunch of big kids but we're doing God's will so I'm super excited to build something that the Lord is asking us to build together. Now that